My name is Sophia Chuck. I handle investor relations for Stanbic Uganda Holdings Limited. I remember it was about a million shillings or actually it was 500,000 shillings. That was my very first investment. And that was in treasury bills, obviously, which seemed like a very simple one, short term, something I'm confident about that will come back after three months. Now, when I got used to the process of treasury bills, I ventured into bonds. Bonds are longer term, beyond one year. Now, the main attractive factor for me there was the fact that interest came through by annually, twice a year. Over and above the fact that at the maturity of this particular bond, you'd get back the amount you put in. When I did that the first time, it was very lucrative and it was two years. Every two, every six months, I would get two payments, which was a good thing and it was exciting for me. Extra payments outside my normal income. So I explored further into 10, into five years. I kept on over the years. I grew that up to 15 years. And uh, it has been really useful for me because it's nice to see extra income come to your account. We had a group of friends, myself and some of my colleagues and other friends outside uh, my workplace. We had what you'd call a circle. This month I get, next month you're getting, there's three of us. So whenever it came to my turn and we collected that money, I would put it in the savings account and I make sure it grew up to a point of say five or 10 million and I go and quickly put it in another bond. So at one point in time I had about 10 bonds running. And remember each time I have Every six months, I'm getting interest. Now, nearly for, for a period of time, or I can't even remember the exact year, but every two months I had interest coming because each of these bonds were maturing at different times and paying interest at different times. The more you get used to investing or getting avenues of cash, you start now even thinking more thinking more, thinking of more opportunities to grow your cash. And that's where I thought about uh, equities, investing in stock, uh, different companies. There are different IPOs that came up. I opted to invest in them. And the advantage is that you will have dividends coming from these different companies. What the investment family calls that is spreading your risk. If this particular investment doesn't work I know I have the other one if this one doesn't work I know the other one is also coming so for me this has been a way by which I reduce my reliance on an income coming every month the real intention is such that I can be sure that when I'm older and there's no more salary coming I have income streams coming through. I have cash flows, not just from one thing, but one investment, but from various investments. The thing that we have these days in Uganda is that the investments opportunities are increasing. We have SBG Securities as an entity that offers those investments to you. It could be through investment in equity or treasury bonds, and there are various people whom you can invest through. But Stanbic presents you that through SBG Securities. I would say start now. You can imagine if you started at 25, when you just got your first job, or 23, how much would you have built in terms of investments and extra cash beyond your income? Each one of us wants to leave a legacy for our children. We don't want it to happen as it was in the beginning where you have to take care of your parents or the, you also, when you get old, you also want people to take care of you. What about if we change that story and make it us leaving a legacy? for our children. And that for me is a very big driving force. Invest in different areas. Or well, start with a bond, start with a bill. There are many people who can support you. SBG is willing to, uh, to support you. Stanbic Properties Limited, all those are there for you to explore.